Well, hello everybody. It seems to me that it's time to have a little look at our garden. Check out the potato patches. Here you can see the wires as they are sticking out of the patch, out of the hügel bed. It's a simple steel wire, 5 mm in diameter and uh, I stock them about 10 centimeters deep into the ground, the complete length of the patch. And if you stand up and look on top of both, right in the middle, uh, you see the right one is much faster, more plants and bigger. I documented that with a couple of pictures, it was incredible. Uh, it was just twice as fast and the plants twice as big and uh, as you can see on the right hand side most of them already start flowering while on the left hand side there's there's only the first ones in the back starting and it's becoming meager in the front so uh, definitely the cables do their work If you look then to the tomatoes, you can see that the tomatoes, the nearer they get to the cables, though they are not besides, inside, the bigger they got, especially the first three plants. The other ones, well, growing normally. But these ones, you can see, they are thick, they are strong. They got dark green leaves, while the other ones, about two meters in distance, start having normal green, light green leaves and are definitely half the size, half the strength. Here is the small patch we use for the coriander. We got Melissa, Echinacea, more sage, more Echinacea. This is chamomile. This one is nearly a meter high. It has, I don't know how many hundreds of flowers. More Echinacea. Herbs start growing wild. Leech down there. And there you go. That's a small potato. Looks like we forgot one last year because this was the potato patch last year. And, uh, well, as you can see, that's about less than half the size as the potatoes in the patch with a wire. This is our patch, this is our, well, our terrace next to the balcony where the kids play, where we got about half a ton of quartz sand. So the kids got their spot to play, same time. It seems to have a severe effect first on the raisins, the wines, the grapes, they are growing like crazy. There you see the Liebstöckel, we call it muggy herb, as it tastes like muggy. It's growing really big, really thick. You see that here, if you, if you see my hand, it's, well, very thick, very strong, tastes very good. Flowering. Again, just like last year, we got sage, lots of sage, we got dill, and mento, lemon verbena, lots of coriander this year, sugar leaf. Even small aloes, more sugar leaf, more sage. Unfortunately, it seems that last winter these two lemon verbena died. The one in the back that you see right now is the one I planted this spring, just like this one. They grow fabulously, but this one 
who survived without any trouble the, the winter 2010-2011. Well, 11-12 just didn't make it. Unfortunately, well, chocolate mint, stage. Uh, just to make it clear, this one um, I cut already back to about half of the size it got now four times in the last four to five weeks we got lots of herbs and we drink lots of tea so uh, we enjoy that very much <laughs> I wish I wish the, 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 the mento would grow as fast because uh, it's getting cut every day and uh, there you go here is one of the baskets this is chocolate mento and sage and more chocolate mento and more sage. Another nice thing is our grenadine, our granate apple. Uh, he obviously didn't make it too last winter, at least that's what I thought. And uh, since a week I got this coil open to the north, copper tube, about five millimeters thick around the stem and surprise surprise it's coming back on the ground all around the tree. So obviously that stuff works too. Uh, these are the round patches with the wires, but they are not lying straight in there, they are uh, placed here, around there, in the ground, in a circle, welded together, so it's, it's one circle, it's the same wire, it's about uh, 5 millimeters steel wire, galvanized but it's already well rusting and uh, as you can see things grow great just like last year we really enjoyed the, the salad last, last year as you can see we planted a lot this year because it was really good and now my favorite the strawberries here we go last year's strawberries all of them came back half a meter high I put the measuring stick inside, I couldn't believe it. The leaves are about 45 to 55 centimeters in height. And wherever you look, you can see strawberries, 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 more strawberries, lots of strawberries, everywhere strawberries. And all of these are this year's strawberries, the ones which grew, which started reproducing themselves last year as you can see they all marched direction wires none of them right left or back all of them in this direction well gotta say something I don't know what but well they did they just did and the last one here that's our peach tree we bought that last year, it was on offer in autumn, it was a, a 10 euro tree, the market just wanted to get rid of it, so we bought that one, put it in quartz sand, it's down here, it's in sand, I dug a hole, I filled it with quartz sand about 10 centimeters high, put some crystals in, the hole itself I made bigger as the pot so I put the tree in and then filled it with another five centimeters of quartz sand. So it's basically placed directly in a, in a big bucket of quartz sand. And uh, that's it is. And there you go. You got very thin branches. And you got a lot of peaches. And it seems that I have to attach the branches once they get bigger. Otherwise they would break off. So, quartz sand, cables, 
covering the soil with wood chips seems to be at the end of the day a good combination things grow and grow well well keep visiting the page we'll keep you updated and be sure when it starts end of october in Zagora, that'll be the real deal